Hi, my name is Olivier from Activity Messenger. And in this video, we're going to learn how to add conditional logic or conditional branching in your Google Forms. And the idea behind this is you want to be able to show questions, next questions or next steps on the form based on somebody's answer. So a very simple example, I have a charity run registration here. But one of my questions says, um, will you be staying for dinner, right? So what we want to do is be able to say if they click yes, they go straight to the meal preference, right? And if they say no, then they skip the meal preference and they will go straight to the liability waiver. So the way you can do that is by creating sections. So if you click here, what I did is I just added simply a section and I put it right where that question was uh, going through. So I created two sections. One here is meal preference and the other one is liability waiver. And then I have to go to that question where I want people to split off based on what they answered and click on the three dots here and then select go to section based on answer. So what that does is that as soon as I click an answer, it goes to that specific section. For example, if they say yes, they go to the meal preference section. And if they say no, they go to the liability wa waiver section. So what that's going to do is after they say yes, they'll fill in their meal preference. But as they finish this section too, they will go straight to the liability waiver versus people who said no, they'll go straight to the liability waiver. Now, what does that look like in real? So if I go to the form, I have all my information here, I'm purchasing a ticket, and then I can either say yes or no to this question. So you can see that all those other sections are hidden. And the reason for that is that it's going to go on the next page when I select an option. So I'm gonna say yes here. So what does that do? It brings me straight to that meal preference question. And I might say, I have none here, click on next, and then it brings me to the liability waiver and then I can submit the form. Now, if I go back and I would say, actually, I will not be staying for dinner. So I click on the no here, click on next. You can see that I just completely skipped that question of the meal preference. And then I can simply submit my answer. And there we go. The answer has been set up. So that's how you would set up conditional logic in Google Forms. You create sections and then you link your questions right to the correct section. Hope this was helpful. If you want more information about a form building software that goes a bit more in depth than Google Forms, you can visit activitymessenger.com.